All right. So for the build of the post-apocalyptic body armor, I went out to my, my little scrap pile and I found a dryer that uh, that had a door on it with no dents. You can tell it's a door. So I started on this a little earlier. Uh, we didn't have all the plans and the, and the rules ready. So I started with this. I opened it up and I filled it with a ton of copy paper as a spacer to fill out the inside. So I'm hoping when the bolt hits, it'll hit the paper behind it, disperse a lot of the energy, and then stop on the other side. But I think since we're going to cut it down and to reduce on weight, we'll bring out some of that paper and just put a piece of sheet metal in there. So hopefully it'll hit, and then either paper or cardboard, then hit metal, paper or cardboard, and then exit out the back would ha would be what it would have to do. But since we're doing 12 by 12, I have to cut with a hand tool all of this, get rid of all that metal. So it's going to be a ton of fun. And actually, I think I'm going to come in this way and then down just so I don't have to uh, have that because that would be bad if a bullet happened. I just pass through there. That's a lot of metal. It's not hitting. So I guess uh, I got to take it apart. It's all taped up. I had to hold it together by rubber bands at first while I grabbed some tape. But I'm gonna start. I'm, I'm just gonna start cutting at it. Now, if you notice, I had them stacked this, 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 this all the way through, and that ended up being a whole lot of paper. So I had such a big space to fill. So I think I still want to use this paper. It's a lot of good. Good old copy paper, so I'm gonna get all this out of the way. See what we're working with. And this is it. It's all the uh, all the copy paper removed, and you can see it has quite a storage space for things on the inside. So I'm gonna take advantage of that. And I figured, uh, hopefully, everyone has a dryer machine or has access to the dryer machine. So during an apocalypse, I feel like this would be very, very plentiful, very easy to come by, and very easy to do. So uh, let's get to uh, let's get to cutting. All right, so first up, got a got a hacksaw. Don't open it. All. Not fail me here. That's gonna take forever. I'm gonna have to turn down the quality. Oh, might as well get started. Two blades. Motherfucker.
first piece. This is going to take forever. If you look, the blades are a little, I don't know how I could do it, but uh, a little destroyed and just not good at all. So this is going to suck. After wasting my entire life away, I managed to finish cutting the doors to the washing, or the, uh, I mean the drying machine. Now I'm going to leave all of the sawing out of the video because it took me a couple days and a couple blades and holy crap this took forever. But it's through and it uh, it is steel I believe. So what I'm going to do is since 
I think this will be hard enough for when the bolt to hit to take a lot of the energy out. I'm going to stuff it with copy paper, which should absorb the rest of the energy and make sure it doesn't have enough energy to punch through the outside layer. Now, if I'm right, that'll stop bullets. Though, uh, I don't know about the 556 at this point, but 22 it'll stop. Should stop buckshot. Don't know about a slug. I, I guess we'll see. But now I'm going to stuff it up with paper and then I'm going to tape it. Paper is stuffed inside of it. Now, if you look on the inside, there's some paper this way and some this way. And it alternates between stacks of random numbers. From what I can tell, I've shot paper quite a bit. Paper's pretty good at stopping things. But it took uh, 1,500 pieces of copy paper to stop one 556. So, I'm hoping since we have a lot less copy paper, that the steel will make up for it. Hopefully. So, now what we can do is since I'm using paper and just a little bit of steel, we are way under the threshold for how much weight I can have. So I'm going to tape the crap out of it and see if I can see anything else to slap on top of it. Perhaps some cardboard in case shrapnel pops out. It'll catch it a little bit. Don't know yet. Um, but I am going to tape the hell out of it and then look around. This possibly could be it, but I don't know. And... And here it is. I wrapped up in some painter's tape to make it look a little sleeker, a little nicer. This is my body armor. It is made entirely up of a dryer door. Took the hinges out, filled the inside of the door with paper, and then taped it up. So you got two steel panels on each side for you know, penetration, I guess. Uh, hopefully, the 556 is going to hit that, and that's going to take a ton of energy out of it. Hopefully, keyholes inside the paper taking as much energy out as possible, and then having enough force to stop it if it does hit this other side. But I had a moment of not feeling confident about it, but... I've shot quite a bit of things and I have an idea of what it'll stop and paper is very good at stopping things and so is steel so I guess we're gonna see what we can do and see if this can do better than the armor built by my friend at Big Apple Ranch uh, I'm pretty excited to see what he got and I'm very excited to see if I have what it takes to build uh, better armor than he does for the post apocalypse so link to his channel in the description um, part three the test is going to be coming out soon thank you